Hey, what's going on, Beowulf Nation? It's on Beowulf back at it with another video. So you've seen the title. And people have been asking about doing a video for this. I I wanted to really test this product before jumping too quick. And I think I've had it for about like a over a year, well, like a year and a half, basically. So I mean to me, instead of just buying something and be like, hey, this is the best gear bag for jet skiing how about we like put it through the paces and actually use it and haul it around bring it in the ocean to the rivers to the midwest i mean all over i've used it putting it inside different jet skis i've used it put it riding from on my back and all around it's just not even you could just use it for jet skis you could be using it for kayaking boating go bags camping anything that you want to put in there you don't want to see get wet and you want something to stay dry but then the cool thing is that it floats as long as the bag's not full full of water getting inside there the thing will actually float you can't use it to keep yourself afloat if you don't have a life vest but the nice thing is it just doesn't sink to the bottom so you um also too if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button existing subscribers hit the bell notification I'm doing free monthly giveaways. How to enter is you have to be subscribed to I'm Beowulf and my second YouTube channel, Beowulf Nation. Follow me on Instagram, I am underscore Beowulf. If you don't do Instagram, I totally understand. Then it has to be my Facebook page. You gotta give a follow to that. That's I am Beowulf. So that's how you gotta be doing those three things to get entered into the free monthly giveaways. So best of luck with that. This gear bag I'm gonna show you guys is on my Amazon store. So the cool thing is the holiday season is coming up and you can get yourself one of these bags and maybe get it for you for the holidays coming up. So this is made from made by from Dracon Outdoor Equipment. Now I really tested some other ones in the past. Uh, one was a, made by Sea-Doo, it stinked. I had my pew pew in there and it got covered in salt water even when it was sealed. I returned it and don't want anything to do with it. It was like, not good so the cool thing with this it comes with everything you see with it so all these mole pack pouches come standard with it now when i ride with it i don't put these on the reasons why is if i'm going in the salt water the metal there could rust over time and the zippers the cool thing is everything else there's no metal on the bag when you're using it otherwise but it's still nice because you can detach it like if you're camping and stuff like that or to use it as a, a go bag. Now the cool thing is you can fit a lot of stuff. Now I'm not going to do a video here showing what I keep all in the gear bag. I'm going to do that for another video because uh, that is kind of more geared for people. Jet skiing, if somebody's watching this video and you don't have a jet ski and you want it all around. I, I would have this if I had to get a bag and go really fast. I probably would take this if I have important stuff I don't want to get wet in it especially like you know i got flares and a bunch of equipment in here that if you brand jet ski that's known for sinking i won't say names i don't make anybody upset you definitely want this you don't want stuff scattered and you're grabbing here or there and like a ski sinks it sinks you got enough time to get one thing and i'd rather have this i have enough stuff that i could actually survive a couple days stranded wherever jet skiing worst case scenario if it happened i'd probably put more stuff in the bag if I knew I was doing that kind of ride where I could have been stranded somewhere. But when you ride off coast, you need as much stuff possible in a bag. And uh, it works really good too when you have wearing a light vest because it has a lower strap. Now this is a 40 liter bag, um, really thick material that's used on it. And so it opens up here, it folds over. I've never had any water get in this. I've even sprayed it with the hose even after I go riding in the ocean and nothing gets, gets damped in there as long as this is perfectly sealed. And then the biggest important thing too is how tight you tighten this lower strap. Now when I was looking at figuring out a good gear bag, I mean it was just really hard to see what's on the market for what I'm looking for. And it can fit in a, a standard I mean, I think this is probably the most tightest spot I've had to fill it in in a jet ski. So, I mean, I can easily fit it into this. I put it in sideways. Um, I'll probably show that in the video when I'm, I'll show it in this one because I'll have to take all the, I'll have to take all these out because that's the only way it fits in there is you can't have all these attachments on there. So, um, 
it, cool thing is it has other slots where you could hook you could rig this up however you want it the thing i like is just kind of like the military style where it has all these mold pouches that are sewn in and i just think it's really nice because i could attach anything on this that doesn't even have to deal with these pouches i mean it could be a water container i don't like taking plastic bottles i use like a yeti mug again that too um is on my amazon store i don't like to bring any plastic i hate riding places like the ocean the rivers anywhere and i see plastic because you should just have some reusable container that floats and basically we're bringing out after bringing water uh the cool thing is these straps tighten it up too so you can really get this thing fitted i've kind of got fit packed in a certain way with all the gear stuff that's why i really have to show you guys in another video with it so um in the back too it has really nice padding if you're wearing a life vest you really won't feel it but if you were somebody and you were uh you know kayaking or camping or just you know all around it's just a really nice bag take it back so this is where it doesn't go around your waist it goes around your chest where um it tightens on And I might have had that fall off. I have trying to think because it should be going like this. Unless maybe that piece right there actually came off. I don't know. Like I said, I really use this bag. So uh, I'm guessing it, it might have came off. I really wouldn't need it with tightening because it's more about the shoulders. So this is the part. So it must be missing that, which is easily to be fixed. But like I said, I, I use this bag. I just didn't buy it. I've been using this big time, and the more important thing is about a little plastic clip. It's this material that has no wear parts at all on it, especially on the lower part of the bag. This thing is perfectly sealed. And that to me is what's more important than anything else on a bag, that this thing is not gonna wear out on you, especially when you're putting stuff in there. Um, that's why I like to show stuff actually using it instead of being like hey go try to buy this and i don't know what's going to happen to it all around it's really nice with the bag and there were other ones i saw too that were a lot more money this is basically i think under 180 dollars and when you look at a bag for what this is waterproof and all these other stuff i think it's a really good deal with getting it and again it's on my amazon store Amazon.com slash shop slash Iron Beowulf. You guys can pick it up right there. So I'll show you. It's real easy. I kind of hooked it all up to show the beginning of the video. Um, so yeah, this comes right on. Now I do really like this where you have all these other attachments because a lot of these bags, can, sometimes some of these could equal as much money as what the bag is selling for. So I think it's a real big plus that they got all these thrown into there. You got that one. And I like the small ones because if they're real nice. Like if you were want to leave other stuff behind, I'm actually going to use these. I have this really cool mole attachment thing that can hook on a car seat. And that's actually what I'm gonna use with that, that I can go between the bag and to the car with stuff. So basically you can interchange the um, pieces with it. So let me show you guys how I put this in the jets. It's really easy. So you can go either for, forward or back. Now, what I do is I put it in like so. And then get, so you wanna make sure you don't overpack it, but if you saw the bag, I mean, it's nearly full. So usually what I do is I load this up when I'm first thing I'm doing before I launch and then look it's basically right there so you still have room I cut a hole so I have fresh air coming into the, uh, the intake I might have seen that piece that was missing because I think it was in here and I remember not knowing what it went to and I just I think I put it somewhere else so it must have fallen off when I was messing around fitness I do fit the bag into tight places the cool thing is you can still access the retractable or I have my tie downs in here and then it's real easy fast thing and look at this I'm doing this all one-handed too 
This isn't like where I'm using both hands. I'm still holding the camera. And if you had to get quickly out of there, boom, just pops right up. Which is really impressive, my opinion, what the bag can do. Um, I, it's real important to have a really good quality. I mean, I consider this military grade bag. This isn't like a, some cheap, cheap bag. Big thing is when you lift it, you want to make sure none of those. Well, the hard thing is when you're doing a one handed. Let me try it my other hand. Something to sketch. There we go. Something a little sketchy. Yeah, so that's basically the gear bag. But you can see I basically have it all the way maxed out to about there. So it is almost, and there's still tons of room in the bag. I mean, I pretty much used, what, a little over half the bag with stuff in there. And I have a lot of stuff, like you can look, packed every little nook and cranny on this bag. Dracon Outdoor Equipment. Two thumbs up for their stuff. I mean, the only thing that's like wrong with the bag is that little clip, which at the end of the day, it's, I really honestly don't think it's the end of the world with that. You really couldn't, and I can tell you too from experience, you never could use this chest going across if you had a light vest on. Um, I don't know with stand-ups that this would be a smart idea. I mean, you technically could, I mean, it'd just be a lot of weight on your bag and how you ride. I've been trying to figure out some smaller one that could downsize a fair amount of the stuff to have some type of survival stuff in there. Because when you ride the stand up and you're riding areas, like I've been going a lot into the ocean now, I kind of want to carry a flare gun with me. And uh, I got a distress beacon, some stuff that I really, I just have a little compartment for storage in there. like smaller than this and then I'm already using um, a Faraday bag which is right here this is made by another company and I figured to share this too so this is this is basically all I get when I'm on the stand up and this again is on the Amazon store too and this is Mission Darkness so this is a Faraday bag so this actually blocks like an eye uh, signal if somebody's stealing like your credit card or your phone like basically whatever you put in there is not going to be or just uh, Key bobs, newer cards, you can easily uh, duplicate those. And it floats, which is pretty rad with that. So this is what actually I use, little storage in there. So I put my wallet, my keys, my phone, and basically uh, it's real fast at getting into everything, into there. But this is all I get with the stand-up. So what I'm getting is I really like to figure out something else. I could use this if I probably, if I take some of the weight out of it, it just weighs a little bit. And I don't know if I really want to have this leaning on my back um, with it, but for, you could ride this like a sit down because majority of the bag would be sitting on the back. Like, so if you were doing, um, you know, whatever you want to pack in this. Uh, kayaking too is real nice because then they have all these, you can strap it down to some kayaks I think have it where you can mount stuff. See, a lot of people that go out and they really don't have anything with them. And you never know what you need. You might need a, a dry pair of clothes in case you're somewhere where the temperature drops. You don't want those wet. Maybe you want your towel in there. There's so much stuff you could be thinking of putting into this. Um, it's real important having a dry bag. And this is a pretty, pretty, pretty big size. It's not tiny at all. And for the price, it's a killer deal. So you can pick it up on my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I'm Beowulf and I tell you like I said two thumbs up on the Dracon outdoor equipment bag definitely I like it a lot it's just killer it's really easy to clean too I've had it like I said when I had the salt I just spray it all down and it's done no damage with that and it's not worn out any of the nylon with it um, so check it out if you guys are interested in getting one Thanks for tuning in. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. Be driven to win. Remember every day is Earth Day. Also too,
Got to give one last shout out. Make sure you check out the I Am Beowulf merch at IamBeowulf.com. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Beowulf Nation.